Greetings, greetings, family. Sister Shanice in the house, bringing you another story from the Sister Shanice News Desk. There has never been, family, a more important time to support independent media. So if you can support this independent news channel via Patreon or by becoming a subscriber or by simply sharing the video, please do. We need to be our own change agents. And that's what I'm doing here, one video at a time. Today's news report is about the mass killings of Ethiopians at the Saudi-Yemen border. It has been reported that the Saudi border guards have killed hundreds of Ethiopians trying to cross the border. This is an event of major concern that needs extensive highlighting a thorough investigation and deserves massive public outcry. We should also be demanding the involvement of a select committee of African governments and an independent human rights court trial for the murder of innocent African men, women and children. I was horrified to come across the report by a human rights watch exposing Saudi Arabian border guards who apparently deliberately killed hundreds of Ethiopians, including women and children, who were attempting to enter their country along a mountainous border with Yemen. Video recordings, pictures, and technological proof has actually made it possible to capture and verify that this is actually happening in this region. There exists an open military operation against unarmed African citizens at the border of Yemen and Saudi Arabia. There is a need for an African ECOWAS army to find its way to Saudi Yemen border right now to stop the mass killings, the mass unlawful killings of innocent people who are entitled to experience protection under the human rights law. The recommendations and guiding principles of border controls is that human rights ought to prevail and be at the center of the primary concern to the authorities. Where is the human rights for Africans? Where are the actions and sanctions against those countries that are flagrantly abusing their human rights towards Africans. These human rights violations against our people need to stop and they need to stop now. These are thousands of vulnerable people, vulnerable Africans who have become homeless, who have become destitute because of terrorist activities in their villages, in their communities, because of the violations of their own minerally rich land and the exploitative policies against them. This is what has driven these people to have to seek, you know, greener pastures elsewhere. Many have been forced to even run and leave all their worldly belongings behind, you know? And so they are entitled to legal protection in those neighboring countries, but instead of protection and getting the protection that they are seeking, and that they deserve, they are met with various forms of discrimination, hatred, abuse, and now even murder. Can we allow this to continue to happen? These countries have an obligation under international law to address the dangers and risks faced by migrants in transit. There needs to be harsh penalties against countries that flagrantly operate policies that violate basic human right principles. Human Rights Watch said, attacks against groups of migrants who use the remote mountain track to cross into Saudi Arabia by foot were widespread and systemic, and that the killings are continuing. The Human Rights Watch said, it based its report on witness testimonies, as well as over 350 videos and photos of wounded and killed migrants and satellite imagery showing the location of the Saudi Arabian guard posts. 
Nadia Hardman, the report's author, said in an interview with Reuters that eyewitnesses described the scene as killing fields, bodies scattered all over the mountain area, people blown in half. Human Rights Watch issued a new report Monday saying that Saudi Arabian border guards have killed at least hundreds of Ethiopian migrants who've attempted to enter the kingdom. Videos that have been verified by Human Rights Watch and analyzed by Reuters show several of them injured near the border between Yemen and Saudi Arabia. The rights group says Saudi guards used explosive weapons and shot at others from close range. Some of the videos show corpses and the digging of graves. Nadia Hardman is a researcher at Human Rights Watch and author of the report. At Human Rights Watch, we've been documenting killings at the border um, by Saudi border guards of migrants and asylum seekers since 2014. Um, but these were generally irregular. Um, what we've seen is a dramatic escalation in the last few years. I can tell you um, that people told me that they witnessed, you know, killing fields, um, bodies scattered all over the, the mountain area, um, you know, people blown in half. Sadly, this is not an isolated case. In October 2022, the United Nations Special Rapporteur on extrajudicial summary or arbitrary executions had said in a letter to Saudi authorities that the UN had received reports of the systemic killing of 430 migrants at the border in at least 16 separate incidents between January 1st and April 30, 2022. Every African country needs to write to the Saudi Arabian government to raise its concern about these widespread and systemic killings and violations of the rights of African citizens. The Ethiopian government in Addis Ababa needs to officially respond to the situation in Yemen, stroke Saudi Arabia. African countries need to stop continuing to do business with these countries that are violating the human rights of others simply because they are Africans. Remember family, as Africans, we are not free until the rights of every African everywhere is respected and upheld. Mustafa Sofian Mohammed says he experienced one of the attacks firsthand. He says his group of 45 Ethiopians were near the end of a three-day journey to the border last July when machine gun and grenade fire erupted from Saudi territory and lost part of his leg. He's saying that two years ago, he went to Saudi Arabia through Djibouti, thinking that he would find a job and change the life of his family and his own. I came back to my family empty-handed. One leg says. Sister Shanice, out of here for now.